This is for Mercy Housing down in Olympia. This is called Evergreen Vista. And we're looking at asphalt repair, crack fill, seal coat, stripe. Uh, what you're looking at here is a map of Evergreen Vista 1. That big blank area that you see right there on the page, that's going to be Evergreen Vista 2. And I'm going to do another bid for that. But on Evergreen Vista 1, you can see I uh, highlighted where the fire lane striping is in dark red. Okay, I'm going to give footages for that. I'll give you footages for all the striping that's in here. All the ADAs, compacts, red painted curb, yellow painted speed bumps, all that good stuff. But uh, the asphalt repairs are um, oil spot damage. So we're going to go with a 3 inch depth on all the asphalt repairs. Okay. A couple of notes. Um when talking about um, the striping out here and the seal coating as you can see it's fairly clean you know in most places but you do have some areas where there is moss so I would say for this particular contract uh, we probably need a day of power washing but it's not to do a lot of the surface out in the main areas it's to do along the curbing so uh, in the the curbs itself that are painted red here you can see they're pretty smooth they're not flaking which is nice so there won't be a lot of attention needed on painting the curb or excuse me power washing the curbs but we do need to get down at the bottom here so I'd imagine 2020 when this is uh, projected to go is gonna need a lot more power washing along all these curbs it's gonna take some coordination in here to do something like this so I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be two phases in here in order to seal coat everything and to be able to get cars to move to different locations we'll probably have to split it up into two phases okay so let's just figure on two days of power washing um, hold on it's gonna be almost impossible to power wash everything on this in one day because of cars being in the way i think we can get a lot done along the fire lanes and on certain areas where there is no parking going on um i know it'll be tough to try to close it down for one day in the whole area do the power washing and then come back the next day and stripe it and then or excuse me seal coat it and then stripe it as well so i would imagine it'll be really tough to close everything down in one section for more than a, more than a day so let's just figure on power washing for one day and getting as much as we can on a lot of the areas the rest of it we'll use a snuffy when we're doing the preparation and we should be pretty good okay um so that's that um i've marked on this map as you can see where the office is down there I just started walking to the left and made my way up here to this trash enclosure uh, right here in the center of the um, page, which is right here. So I'm going to come down here behind the mailbox kiosk and just kind of show you what my plan is here. Not every stall has really bad oil spots damage, but some of them do. And so I've marked on the map where some of these are. You'll see a revised map in here that'll show where these are all together, those four stalls where the X's are. I'm just going to do a measurement of 9 foot by whatever the width is across all the stalls. So, for instance, on this one, these are approximately 8 foot stalls. So, I'm going to go 32 feet by 9 and get all of those oil spots in a row instead of cutting them one at a time and trying to patch them like that. We're going to try to get the paver in here and do one nice long shot. Okay. So, um, over here, here's the main office. And then you've got this stretch of parking. And it's got every stall that has oil spot damage. So, instead of cutting each one out, I'm just going to do a 9 by whatever this is on the uh, total width. And uh, we'll do it that way. Make it easier on the paving crew. And... Uh, probably be definitely more efficient we'll get it done that way so i just wanted to show you that uh 
my map will have all these areas pinpointed. They'll all each have a number. They'll all each have um, one measurement if it's all one big patch. And if it's separate patches, then you'll see each one with a separate number. So here's a good example. Parallel stall right here. That needs to be done. And then uh, there's another one under here, I believe, that needs to be done as well. And the spacing in between is like 12 feet. So I don't really want to cut out the whole area when there's a lot of good asphalt there. So those will be the exception where I do individual repairs. Here's a repair right here. Uh, there's a couple of these situations where I've got some 4x4 repairs that need to be done. Okay. And there's like another one up here as you go out the entrance. I think where my thumb is at right now shows that location. So there's going to be a couple of those in here. You know, you've got one that's right here where it started to sink. I want to try to get those fixed as well. So I'm going to put that in the price. Um, a lot of this is 2020, the seal coat and striping. But there is a chance that they might break out the asphalt and have us do some of the asphalt repairs this year. Okay? So, uh, like I said, I'll have all the quantities all written up, put in Google Drive. And uh, I'll have some separate notes and workmen's. This is for Mercy Housing. This is Evergreen Vista 1.